Welcome you all. I am Srinath, Faculty of Mechanical Engineering Department, Canada Engineering College, Bangalore. So this is lecture number 5 on a compressible flow. In this lecture, I will going to explain about Mach number and type of flow based on this Mach number. Hello students. So this is lecture number 5 on a compressible flow. On this today's class, we will discuss about the Mach number. The Mach number is defined as the square root of the ratio of inertial force of flowing fluid to the elastic force. That means there is a relation between inertial force and elastic force of the flowing fluid. So mathematically it is expressed as so here m that denotes Mach number. The so Mach number is equal to square root of ratio of inertia force to elastic force. So here the elastic force is given by rho a v into velocity it is known as rho a v square to the k into j that is elastic force, the force they mentioned, the force is equal to, actually in case of stress is considered, the stress is given by force by area. In similar manner here, the elastic force is given by K into area. So here, the area get cancelled and the row at the numerator is then now taken into a denominator at that time it is k by rho. Just simplification, the square root of v square is taken as v divided by square root of k by rho. So here in the last lecture we derived some expressions for the relations between uh, velocity of uh, sound wave, bulk modulus and uh, density. So according to that relation, velocity of sound wave is given by square root of k by rho. For that reason, here it is taken by v by c. So that is equals to Mach number. For that reason, the expression for that once again the expression for the Mach number is a ratio of velocity of fluid or body moving in the fluid to the velocity of the sound in the fluid. So given by V by C. M is equal to V by C. So on the basis of Mach number, the flow can be defined as in a three different manner. The first one is a subsonic flow, second one is a sonic flow, third one is supersonic flow. The first one is subsonic flow. See, a flow is said to be subsonic flow if the Mach number is less than zero. We know that the Mach number is given by V by C. So in case, so this Mach number is lesser than 1. So that is, that such type of the flow is called a subsonic flow. That means, so here velocity of flow is lesser than the velocity of the sound wave. That means V, the value of the V is lesser than C. The second type of the flow that is a sonic flow. A sonic flow is said to be sonic if the Mach number m is equal to 1. That means 
the both the velocity of the sound wave and velocity of the fluid flow values are equal so the such type of a flow is called as sonic flow the third one is called as supersonic flow so here so this mach number value is greater than 1 that means the velocity of the fluid flow is get greater than the velocity of sound wave so these are the three different uh, type of the flow based on mach number in case of if you see observe the diagram of the supersonic flow the the propagation related to the propagation of the pressure waves see one cone is formed here the here so based on that uh, by considering that cone the so some regions are identified here so that is called as a zone of action as well as a zone of silence the region inside this cone so that is called a zone of action the region behind that cone section that is called as zone of silence so regarding to uh, that two terms the zone of action so when the mac number is greater than 1 that means that the supersonic flow the effect of disturbance is felt only in the region inside the mac number this region is called as zone of action if you consider that cone the region inside that cone is called as what zone of action that means the propagation of the pressure waves takes place in that in between that uh, in that uh, cone region and behind that area is called as zone of silence this is also considered for a mac number greater than 1 see there is no effect of disturbance in the region outside the mac cone such as that cone is commonly called as a mac cone so mac cone so here this region outside the mac cone is called as zone of silence so these are the some terms are related to that pressure wave propagation that is zone of action and zone of silence and mac cone so this information related to mac number types of the fluid flow based on a mac number so then there are two terms related to that cone section that is zone of action and zone of silence the end of this lecture number 5 in next lecture we will see the another derivation related to the compressible flow thank you